Any developments, any changes? Oh, Matoria, <laughs> Yes, I'm ready. I I'm registered. Ready. I'm registered. My card is ready. So I'm going to vote. So so there is many things I'm expecting after the election mm -hmm. because there is no work. There is no work here at this uh, Orukambe mm -hmm. constituency. Uh, many of the young people here are not working. So we want, we are expecting that there must, there must be more work here. And some of the people here are poor. They have no houses. And so there is many things we are expecting after the election. No, we want changes here in Orukambe constituency. There is so many things. We want to, to change here in Okorukambe constituency. But I'm going to vote. So it's my wish that after election, we will see some changes here. Station. The main duties of the police officer 
appointed for election are the following. One, oversee security at polling station prior to voting. That is one. And I don't need really to, to lecture on this one because that is the primary purpose and the primary duties of a police officer to oversee security. And that is what is being stipulated here. I cannot go uh, deeper into this one. I am very much aware that you know the situation. Two, oversee security at police station during voting at the end of the polling day. Three, ensure that no political activities are conducted within 500 meters radius of the polling station. Because one law and order to be maintained at the polling station. And if there is any activities that are not accepted, then that is your function to do this and dispose but remember that the presiding officer will then give you instructions that here things are getting out of hand, do this. Here, can you assist with this? Here, he or she will direct you as a presiding officer. <coughs> Meaning there must be a very good relationship and cooperation between you as a police officer and a presiding officer because you are reporting to this person.